It is really a great pleasure to be among you today on this occasion that brings together members of Thika River System Community to discuss the present and future of water resources in Thika River ecosystem. I therefore take this opportunity to congratulate the Dutch Water Authority and the Blue Dean Project team for organization of this. The theme of our meeting today is Future Design Bescam Initiative, Bring Back Black Battle, Njururi to the River. The presence of Njururi in an open water body signifies that the water is of high quality and it fits for human consumption. Njururi is one of the key biological indicators of water quality in many places has become extinct due to the water quality deterioration for human activity. No, water comes from the catchment. If there is no water coming from the catchment, if there is no water in that river which originates from the catchment, how do you get water? So we need, we need to tell our new generation and the, that water comes from that far and there is need for us to protect from down, from up to down. So we need, as a, as a Kenyans, as a, this country, now we, we learn from other people, and we need to try our level best to make sure that we manage our waste. My name is Eugenia Duita. I'm the CEO for the Water, and the biggest uh, beneficiary of the activities that we have before us today. This is the first year that uh, majority of us are realizing that water is a finite commodity. They thought that water is found everywhere and it is abundant and it's there. It's something that requires to be nurtured, it's nothing that requires to be taken care of, and something that requires integrated approach to its sustainability. It's my pleasure to be here today for this great occasion of opening the future design based camp to bring Jorori back to the river. I ask a few questions. Have you ever thought of the city like Nairobi without water? What would have been the history of Thika town, Nairobi town, where we are today without the Thika and Chania rivers? Life is dependent on water, and without water, no form of life can survive. It is the most precious natural resource, which is necessary for the survival of the planet. The Thika and Chania ecosystem is of great importance to the capital city of Kenya. The capital city receives 96% of its water supply from Thika and Sasumwa dams. That's about 500,000 meters cubed per day of water. Maintaining and restoring the ecological functions of Thika and Chania River ecosystem in light of growing demands of water, energy and food and increasing pressures from, from climate change are an enormous challenge we have to address. Hi, my name is Frank Heckman. I'm the founder of Embassy of the Earth. It's a Dutch foundation that works as a social platform around the globe, really. Uh, here today we are in Tika uh, as uh, World Water Net and the WRA have asked me to design, that's my job as social architect, the, the process to see if we can bring all parties together for the Tika river basin ecosystems and to see if we can improve uh, the uncertainty of the water provision and quality etc and look at it not just as a commodity as water but as a whole living system so we go to the source we look at the protection and see what's happening in the in the mountains and those trees we look at the the, the borders it's a whole ecosystem and we have about 80 people here who will be working 
three days, actually three and a half days, because today was kind of a start in a way, even though we call it ceremony. But we'll be working, a working session for three days, where we have all pieces of the puzzle that can make the difference in uh, uh, resolving this rather complex issue called water and make sure that we have some uh, insurance for the future on places in the industry, but also big cities like uh, Nairobi who are heavily depending on fresh water from uh, this uh, river basin. We are here for the for protection of our, our river, for our catchment protection. Um, if you are aware that of late we have been planting trees, we have been concentrating on uh, our catchment. You see, for a long time, we have, been, we have, we have given uh, our catchment protection a very raw deal. As I said earlier, the majority of these young men here think that the water comes from the tap. Because they only go to the toilet and they get water from the tap. The reality is different. The, the water comes from the catchment. If you don't protect the catchment, I think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a disaster. You see now the injury issue. It was a very good standard. Now, if it is there, means water is clean. It indicates that the water is clean. If it is not there, means now the water is, is a bad quality. Um, this workshop, or the base camp, will continue for three days. Uh, from today or tomorrow, we'll be going out to the rivers, visit all the rivers, talk to the people. We need to bring up the importance of the water quality in this country.